Welcome everyone and thank you very much indeed for clicking on to this video. Now as many of you already know, reporting of the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller on Koh Tao Thailand was often uh, quite confused and ambiguous. Now one issue that hindered clarity was the ambiguity within the Thai language itself, which can easily lead to meanings being lost in translation from the Thai language to the English language. Now let me illustrate uh, this to you by showing you uh, the Thai word for weapon. And here it is here, and the word is uh, sastra wood, and another uh, synonym it can be uh, ar wood. Now, firstly, in the Thai language, there are no plural nouns, so that the word for weapon, singular, um, can have the same meaning as uh, weapons plural. And secondly, unlike in English, the Thai language does not have the indefinite article of a, as in a cat, or an, as in an elephant, nor does it have the definite article the. Therefore, within a sentence, a simple Thai word for weapon can actually have four different meanings. So here we go again. The Thai word for weapon within a sentence can mean a weapon, it can mean the weapon, it can mean weapons, or it can mean the weapons. And more often than not, uh, contemporaneous news, news reports in the English language uh, referred to a blood-soaked garden hoe found near the bodies of the deceased as being the murder weapon. And so there was the image of the of the hoe in question. Now upon reading such reports, native uh, English language speakers uh, can uh, very understandably and very reasonably assume that there was only one murder weapon involved in this double murder. However, it was abundantly clear uh, from the wounds on David's body and his head and his face and his neck that multiple weapons were used in the attack, including bladed weapons such as punch knives and knives that left cuts uh, and probably more than one weapon that was uh, used to create blunt force trauma to the back of David's head. Now it is abundantly clear that David did face multiple attackers and that is the uh, way things are understood on the island itself and more widely. In view of the defence wounds on David's hands and the cuts uh, to his face and neck and torso, it is completely implausible that David was struck down by two very tiny Burmese men uh, who had simply snuck up on him uh, and struck him on the back of the head using a single garden hoe. Now I'm just going to show you an image here. Now this was created by a, by a uh, Thai news service and that shows a number of places on David's body where there were cuts uh, that were made by either knives or, or uh, punch knives. And of course there were uh, other significant um, wounds to the back of his head uh, which would have been caused by the garden hoe and or, and or some other blunt object. Now in addition to that I'll just show you a little video clip and I'll show you, I'll provide the link below as well. At around 6.30 a.m. Witheridge had suffered injuries to her face while Miller received deep wounds to the back and side of his head. Their bloody clothing was found nearby along with a blood-stained hoe. Forensic officials said that severe head and facial injuries were the cause of death for both victims. There's a mark on his face which could be from other types of weapon. Meanwhile, the marks on his hand are similar to the injuries that could be from fighting. Okay, I'll just pause it there. Uh, the fellow who was speaking there, or the Thai fellow, was actually a police general, and I will provide a link to that video below in the description. So it's uh, in view of the defence wounds on uh, David's hands, which were discussed by that police general, and the cuts to his face and neck and torso, it is completely implausible that uh, David was struck down uh, from behind. 
Now, it's also worth keeping in mind that David was actually six foot three tall, whereas the two tiny Burmese men uh, were only about five feet in height. In fact, one was not even quite five feet in height. It is also worth noting that apparently the Royal Thai Police did not recover any weapons such as knives or punch knives uh, from the accused Burmese men. Now some points to take away from this little video today are that the physical evidence from the crime scene strongly suggests that Hannah and David were killed by multiple attackers with an assortment of weapons and not by two tiny Burmese men using just one garden hoe. Unfortunately, some of the reporting in the mainstream English language media could have been highly misleading, especially when they refer to the murder weapon. Uh, now, please check out the description below for the current addresses of Zor Lin and Wai Pyo, who are the two scapegoats in prison now, uh, with a view to sending them a brief card or letter of support just to let them know that the outside world hasn't forgotten them. Now, if you found this video at all interesting or helpful, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a like, and um, click on the subscribe button if you have not already done so. And I always look forward to reading uh, constructive comments that can be left below. But thank you so much again for clicking on this video, and please stay safe. Bye for now.